The poem opens with a land acknowledgement. Colonizers conquered and killed. Massachusetts belongs to the Wampanoag Nation and belongs still. The poem positions itself at the helix of desire and time. The first mass group of Africans arrived in Boston on a slave ship Christian the Desire. Native folk were traded for black folk who toiled soil in the Bahamas. 20 years gone, in Boston Ken, a man Christian after the city itself is the first black to buy in Dorchester, forging a home for us who did not forge the plantation of one. Here, the poem introduces the poet as both kin and keeper of memory. The first black poet was a slave the Wheatleys brought off a ship christianed the Phyllis. The Wheatleys crystallize the girl as the ship and the girl wields her master's language, becomes the threat. If you give a slave a book, she will write one instead. The poet or the poem note the irony of the tongue in which the history is forged. For proof, the first casualty of the revolution was a black Bostonian. Two centuries gone, and both the people and the poem can hear the shot coiling the globe. Thus, the poem calls the past with present, doctrinizes a perpetual state of black being. For proof, we stay living. For proof, we be not dying despite the foraging. For proof, take the Haydens, who kept gunpowder under the deck in case a slave catcher tried to try it. Stay forming a freedom house from slave shack, ready to run away, rescue, riot the court's history of black women, batting for black women, come by he river collected. Pins, blooming pistols, General Tubman ready. Stay David Walker appealing a fight. Girls with Afro puffs galvanizing the march desegregated schools, bust and busted city on a hill, city hall, and all for proof, first ladies of Roxbury and male kings for proof, Presley, Boiling, Trotter for proof, first nurse, first genius, first people of South and West ends for proof, we stay the proof. Pedestal, Prodigy, North Star still and still North Star gazing. Here, the poem refers to descendancy or ascension. Reminds the people Black Boston was born of desire. From the Latin, desidero. Translated to from the stars, meaning from the boughs rose bodies of light, us descendants of beacons, us stars cloaked in dark, meaning still us rise, meaning we stay conquering the night. <laughs>